the chair. Don't get up. I swear on the gods, I will push you over if you do. No, you've gotten up. What am I going to do? Money. I will pay you money to get back in the chair. Those people down there. I, I never liked them anyway. I'm happy they're dead. Please, just don't hurt me. Why is this happening? All I ever wanted was to learn a little magic. Maybe smite a few enemies. <laughs> tell my family I regret nothing. Wait, they're all dead. I'll tell them myself. Run! seen a Dramora Lord? Hold on. His name is Dravas, and he's a trained killer. Don't believe me? Th then feast your eyes on this! Can I throw a party? See? I told you. That's a Dramora Lord. In the flesh. Leave, before I sick him on you. Really? So you aren't here to hurt me? But you're so scary. Then again, so is this Dramora. And he's completely useless. They call it a bird's eye. Some say it's because it touches the sky. Others say it's because it's infested with hags. But you saw it. Mother Aegis is dead. All my sisters do. Which means I'll probably never become a matriarch. No, of course not. I mean, you people kill the mothers, right? Then, <laughs> why would I want to be one? No way, not me. I'm just a regular old student from the College of Windhelm on her way back home. Oh gods, oh gods, oh gods. I didn't mean to lie, I swear. Yes, I want to be a matriarch. I want wrinkles and feathers and claws and bird feet. But what I really wanted was the power. You understand, don't you? Please don't kill me. Really? You do that for me? But we just mad. Oh gods, I didn't just talk you out of it, did I? Because there really might be a way, even without Mother Aegis. It's incredibly risky, and you might have to get your hands dirty. It requires ingredients. Well, not really ingredients, as in feathers and plants. I don't want to scare you, but I need organs, and I need them fresh, real fresh, as in ripped out from the body. Oh gods, no, I can't stomach all the blood, but there might be another way to remove the body parts without needles or sutures. You do realize we're talking about people, right? I mean, I need goat heads too, but we have plenty here already. Great! I know just the family. They live in a small cottage west of here, across from Lost Echo Cave. There's something about them I don't like. Something... off. Don't get me wrong, I'm sure they're nice people once you get to know them, but not nice enough that I'd feel guilty about harvesting their organs. I need the father's liver, the mother's toes, and the child's heart. If you do this for me, I'll pay you in gold. No, better than gold. I've got a special reward for you. You'll see. Can I throw a party or what? Can I throw... Welcome, Traveler. It's been a long time since we've had an adventurer come through these parts. Surely you'll want to come in and rest your weary feet. No, no. 
Don't thank me. My wife and I joined the company. My little one even more so. Say, you've got a nice set of earlobes on you. Where I come from, those are good luck. And good luck is contagious. You must stay the night. Really, Papa? What about his toes? Are they big too? You said toes bring the best luck. I don't know, child. I won't know until he takes off his shoes. But my money's on you, little giant. You and your mother are blessed with very large feet. Really? You mean it, Papa? Of course, my darling. Now go tell your mother we have a guest. Okay. And remind her to sprinkle salt on the floorboards by the entrance. The home has to be purified before our guest steps inside. In any case, judging by the smell, it looks like we're having stew. I hope you like charros. So you must be the visitor Rennie told me about. Let me get a good look at you. Oh, I like the shape of your nose. I had a dream about a Falmer once, and he had the exact same one. That Falmer in my dream was very old, but had good skin, which means you'll age just as well. But excuse my manners. My name's Bet, the little one's Rennie, and you've met my husband Frodmar. Thank you, dearie, but I would be a terrible host if I let you anywhere near the pot. But maybe you knew that already. You're a clever little bee, aren't you? Always outsmarting the busy ones. I tell you what, you can have a taste if you like, but make it quick. When you're done, go on and grab a seat at the head of the table. It's bad luck for the guest of honor to sit anywhere else. Is the meal ready yet, my love? The more I work, the hungrier I get, and it's been a long week. Did you place the elf's ear in the boot like I told you? I've been doing that, and chewing on them as well. Plus, I put one of those purple flowers under the cooking pot in the bed. Oh, love, purple? You didn't leave nightshade under the pot again, did you? I told you it goes under the pillow. Oh, <laughs> silly me. How's that rhyme go again? When you're feeling blue, the color's true. When you're feeling high, use shades of night. What would I ever do without my Rennie? Do you have any children, Traveler? Surely you just. What sort of sick deviant would raise a child that was not his own flesh and blood? Oh, Fradmar, you're going to scare our guest. He knows what is and what isn't a sin. You're right. I apologize for making things so dour. My, that smells delicious! Oh, no, you don't. The guest eats first. But not before we have a little conversation to whet our appetites. So is it true what they say? Have the dragons returned? So the legends are true then. But even a dragonborn could use a little help. If it were me, I would wear a necklace of chicken beaks at all times. Those are always good for curing your voice when you're hoarse. I imagine all the shouting means you have to keep it sharper than any blade. Ah, southerners with their troubles. Dragon schmagons. It's what they get for living in such hot weather. <laughs> Mama, can I show the nice man my bug collection? After you finish your stew. Don't oh, let the girl have her fun. We can put the stew back in the pot for now. And let it warm up some more. Yay, it's really impressive. I keep it on the table over there next to Rengir's skull. He keeps an eye on it for me. Your brother always did enjoy playing with bugs, eating them too. Not anymore, Papa. Not after you took away his teeth. Ah, that's right. Poor Rainy was scared Rainier Skull would eat her collection, so I had the lower jaw removed. Children have such wild imaginations. In any case, we have the jaw in a drawer for safekeeping. And leave him to the worms? No, that wouldn't be right. He belongs with his family. Of course, Frodmar wanted to have Rengir stuffed, but thankfully the wolves didn't leave much save the bone. Aye, that would have been in poor taste. You don't want to honor a child so foolhardy. Still, 
He was our boy. And hopefully the gods won't mind us keeping his skull as a memento. Here you go again, husband, making things awkward for our guests. Can we just enjoy this nice meal I've cooked for all of you? You're right, love. This is a joyous occasion. Our first visitor in, what is it, months? Yes, the last one didn't stay for very long. I warned you about her. She had a mole on her cheek that was clearly a daedric mark of some kind. Not that you could spot it the way you've been lately. Have you been putting the sheep's blood in your eyes every morning like I told you? We killed the last sheep two seasons ago, as a sacrifice for the gods. Oh, right. What about this season? Did you remember to leave the sacrifices by the altar? Honey, I thought you were taking care of it. Damn! We can't! We can't! Not that you could spot it the way you've been lately. Have you been putting the sheep's blood in your eyes every morning like I told you? We killed the last sheep two seasons ago, as a sacrifice for the gods. Oh, right. What about this season? Did you remember to leave the sacrifices by the altar? Honey, I thought you were taking care of it. Damn! We can't have another season like the last one. I'm sorry, friend, but we have to cut this meal short. The gods wait for no one. Feel free to stay and finish your stew. Dear gods, take this chicken as an offering, and bless us with good health this season. Can I kill the chicken, Papa? When you're old enough, child, for now, just watch your father and learn from him. Okay. Oh, you're still around. I hope you enjoyed the meal. Best get on your way. What can I do for you? I knew it. I knew you wouldn't let me down. I mean, I was starting to doubt you just a little, but then I told myself, have faith, Misha, have faith, and it worked. I have the whole ritual prepared, right this way. Watch your step. <laughs> Got a little carried away with the blood, and you don't want to slip and fall from here. 
Wow, this woman had huge feet. And do you know what they say about women with huge feet? I don't either. Anyways, in you go. I suppose another goat wouldn't hurt. Can you do me a favor and grab a goat hide from the crate? Then toss it into the cauldron. Or was it a hawk beak first? Then a goat? I know the feathers are last, but what comes before that? Oh damn it, Misha. Why can't you remember? The crone, you did it! At least it sure seems like you did. The way that cauldron's bubbling. Why, thank you. Here I thought you were going to try and talk me out of it. I spent all night trying to figure out how to ignore you in case you made sense. This ritual isn't without its risks. That's why I want to give you your reward now. Travis doesn't fight, but he does draw attention. You know how it is. Pretty much everyone attacks the Dramora first. Wait, you don't like your gift? Damn it, I knew I should have went with a sack of gold. But people say that's so lazy. Either way, I guess it doesn't matter now. In about a minute, I'm going to be too powerful to care about anyone but myself. I call upon the crone of old to boil the phantom of bubble toad. His swirls of guts and liver chopped. Cook the first in this blackened pot. Eye of nude in flux of crow. Boil the broth with the second stoves. Belay of snake and magic's dark. Drain the life of this child's heart. Round about the cauldron stirs, from mortal skin to withered bird. From these four lives it drinks the stew, from which to hag be born anew. It worked. Look at me. I'm hideous. Hideous, old, and incredibly powerful. Indeed, mortal. There are some who would call me a fool, but they are the ones who will boil in my cauldron. But not yet. First, I must learn how to keep this body strong. So grab your boon and take your leave. I have goats to sacrifice. What do you want? I told you, I'm going to sacrifice goats and children. Maybe you, if you keep bothering me. Fine, listen and learn. 